Hi, I'm Philip with Ross Monster, and I'm here with the latest Sprinter 170 build. Let's check it out. So for the exterior of this build, this Sprinter is riding on the Evictus 2.65 suspension system. This is custom built for Sprinters. It's self-adjusting and is an absolute game changer when talking about off-road or even on-pavement handling. It's also got the BFG TA uh, KO2s that we're riding on. And then coming around up at top, we've got our Fiamma F45 awning, a Thule storage box, and a gigantic Illumines roof rack up top that is walkable. Coming around back here, we've got the Owl Expedition box and also the Owl Vans B2 bike carrier. A couple of the nice features in the cab of this vehicle, it does feature swivel seats on both the driver and passenger seat, and it's also got a custom walnut table with a legume mount that's fully adjustable. So for the de design of this van, it's gonna feature custom upholstered wall panels. We've got a tongue and groove ceiling that's stained in walnut. The walnut's gonna closely match our butcher block walnut countertops as well. We've got this beautiful uh, luxury vinyl plank floor down here. And then in the back, we've got our dinette, which has got a really unique upholstery uh, back there as well. And for the layout on this vehicle, we've got the galley basically kind of split up left and right. We've got our sink, of course, here on my left, our uh, refrigerator and cooktop here. Just on my left on the driver's side here, we've got a nice, good size shower with a composting toilet um, plenty of storage in the galley here and then back behind me our dinette which converts into a sleeping area and then just above that we've got our project adjustable bed here as well a couple of nice design features that I really like about this van are this huge shower which is just a real nice convenience and again with our convertible bed system how open this can be one of the things I like to be able to do is I can raise this bed all the way to the top and you can see how quickly it raises it's gonna give us lots of additional space I like to pop the rear doors open. You can sit in a dinette and enjoy the view out of the rear doors. So here in the galley, we've got this beautiful Isotherm Cruise 200 refrigerator with freezer and fridge sections, which I really like. The Impava two burner cooktop. We've got tons of storage here on both the left and the right. Coming over to the right, we've got the Rivati sink here. Um, this has a removable cutting board and our pull down faucet featured here and additional storage down below here underneath the sink and this nice flip up countertop as well which gives us about another almost two feet of counter space so lastly in the galley we've got our breville combination oven uh, tucked in right here in our drawer bank and to my right we've got this giant shower here so our wet bath features a removable teak floor it also has the nature's head composting toilet and it does feature the nautilus style self-cleaning shower door which is a great feature and we've got some great storage here as well just to the left of that um, for closet space here so here in the dinette we've got another walnut legume table fully adjustable this space again does convert into another sleeping area um, and underneath our dinette it's going to be concealing our 40 gallons of fresh water and all of our plumbing it's also going to be hiding our electrical cabinet and that's going to feature uh, 800 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries and a 3000 watt inverter and here at the back of the dinette when we open up the doors this is where our outdoor shower is going to be so when it comes to sleeping we've got a couple options we do have two sleeping spaces that we could utilize if we want this one down here will convert into a sleeping space and we have our our uh, mattress and bed above us we can remove this lagoon table here quite simply by undoing this little ratchet here that table is going to slide off i'll set this over here out of the way then we've got this bottom bar comes off super simple and we'll get that out of the way so we can convert this, and then if I like, I can go ahead and come in here. We've got our controls for our bed, and with the push of a button, we can lower this down as far as we see fit, and it moves really quick, which is really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and stop it there as I've got the table still sitting down there, but I could go ahead and lower it another probably foot and a half if I was just myself sleeping in here, or if I had additional people sleeping in here, we could leave it up this way and give them space to sleep under there as well. So for, for ventilation on this van, we've got our CR Lawrence T-vent windows here uh, just behind the uh, cooktop. In the back in the dinette area and bed area, we've got the uh, CR Lawrence half slides. Just above me here, our max air fan, and we have our uh, pneumatic 12 volt air conditioner just above me here. For heating of hot water as well as air, this van features the Aqua Hot Hydronic Heating System. That wraps up this van tour, guys. Thank you so much. Again, my name is Philip with Ross Monster. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you never miss a van tour.